Pahlavi texts translated by E. W. West, Part One, Shayast the Shayast, Sacred Books of the East, Oxford University Press, 1860, Chapter Three, The Clothing of a Menstruous Woman, which they shall take new for her use is polluted, and that which is in use is not polluted. When a bedchamber shod a urvan is overspread, and a carpet boop is laid upon it, and a cushion on the two, and a woman sits upon it, and menstruation occurs when she puts a foot from the cushion onto the carpet, and from the carpet out into the bedchamber. The carpet and bedchamber are both polluted, for they are taken newly for her use. But of the cushion there is no pollution for this reason, because it is in use. And when she sits on the cushion, so that she shall have both the carpet and cushion in use, the bedchamber is polluted by itself. And when all three shall be in use, there is no pollution whatever. Just as she knows that it is menstruation in the place she is in for the purpose, first the necklace, then the earrings, and then the head blood, Kamar, and then the outer garments, the muck, are to be put off by her, when in the place she remains in for the purpose, even though she may remain a very long time for that purpose, yet then the outer garments are clean, and there is no need of leather coloring and leather shoes. When she knows for certain, uh, Evar, that it is menstruation until the complete changing to Haridano of all her garments, and she shall have set down in the place for menstruation, a prayer is to be retained inwardly. When worship is celebrated, a prayer is to be retained inwardly, and should menstruation occur, the prayer is to be spoken out by her. When, in speaking out, the prayer should menstruation occur, both afterwards, when the time was certain, of the Guman, and now she is certain when she retains a prayer inwardly and a call of nature arises there is no need for her to speak out the prayer for the formula for the call is to be spoken by her hands sprinkled in ceremonial ablution by the yab when a menstruous woman sees them become quite unclean about the yab by her look and even when she looks hastily and does not see the sacred twigs, Barasom, it is the same. And on the subject of a house, Kanak e Baba, when a menstruous woman is above in it, and the sacred twigs stand right below. If even fully fifteen steps below, even then the sacred twigs are unclean. Abba Yav. But when not right below fifteen steps are plenty, Prepared food which is within three steps of a menstruous woman is polluted by her, and food which she delivers up, Mara, part of Zed, from her morning meal, Kasht, is not fit for the evening meal, Sam, nor that which she delivers up from her evening meal for the morning meal. It is not fit even for the same woman, and water which is within three steps of her, when they shall put it into a pail. Dubal, our ablution vessel, Hari Yavadan, and shall do it without handling. A Yadman is fit for the hands in ceremonial ablution. When she touches the bedding or the garments of any one, Soshans said that so much space is to be washed with bull's urine, gomez, and water. Her bedding which touches the bedding of any one does not make it polluted. A menstruous woman who becomes clean in three nights is not to be washed till the fifth day. From the fifth day onwards to the ninth day, whenever she becomes clean, she is to sit down in cleanness, one day for the sake of her depletion, to heat, and then she is fit for washing. And after nine nights, the depletion is no matter. A woman who is brought forth, or miscarried, Nasai, during forty days, sees, whenever she is polluted, but when she knows for certain that she is free from menstruation, she is thereupon to be associated with, meanwhile, with us, from the forty days onward. But when 
she knows for certain that there is something of it, she is to be considered meanwhile as a menstruous. A menstruous woman, when she has set one month as menstruous, and becomes clean on the 30th day, when at the very same time she became quite clean, she also becomes again menstruous. Her depletion, tihik, is from its beginning until the fifth day, washing is not allowable. And when she is washed from the menstruation and has set three days in cleanliness, and the beginning becomes menstruous, as from the beginning, four days are to be watched through by her, and the fifth day is for washing. When she has become free from the second menstruation, she is not in cleanness for nine days and nights. These days and nights are for what? watching, and then she is to be washed. When the nine days and nights are completed, on the same day washing is good. Of Korho Ea Kiharat, when it has quite changed color, that which comes on before and also that which is after menstruation. The pollution is just like that of menstruation. When she has become so completely clean from menstruation that her washing may be as usual. Basto Barag Ha'e, she does not make the sacred twigs that are sown nor even other things polluted when beyond three steps. On account of sphere cold, it is allowable for her to sit out towards the fire, and when she washes a prayer, log is to be taken inwardly by her, and the washing of her hands, except with bull's urine, Gomez, is not proper till then, and when they are washed by her, two hundred noxious creatures are to be destroyed by her as an atonement for sin. A woman who goes beyond the period of menstruation and afterwards sees she is polluted when her pregnancy is certain, except when her miscarriage, Yasai Yehevuntano, is evident, is then to be washed with bowls, urine, and water. When her pregnancy is not certain, she is to be considered as menstruous. Some say, moreover, that when a miscarriage is certainly manifest, she is to be considered as menstruous. Some say that when she is doubtful about the miscarriage, is to be washed with the ceremony. And for anyone who comes in contact with a menstruous woman or with the person whom it is necessary to wash with water and bowls urine, it is the root of a sin of sixty steers. And for whomever knowingly has sexual intercourse with a menstruous woman, it is the root of a sin of fifteen tanapuhars and sixty steers. Of a menstruous woman who sees a fire, the sin is one farman, and when she goes within three steps, it is one tanapuhar, and when she puts a hand on the fire itself, it is a sin of fifteen tanapuhars, and in like manner as to the ashes and water goblet. When she looks at water, it is a sin of one farman, when she sits in water, it is a sin of fifteen tanapuhars, and when through disobedience she walks out in the rain, every single drop is a sin of fifteen tanapuhars for her, and the sun and other luminaries are not to be looked at by her, and animals and plants are not to be looked at by her, and conversation with a righteous man is not to be held by her, for a fiend so violent is that fiend of menstruation, that where another fiend does not smite anything with a look, Ouch! it smites with a look. As to a house in which is a menstruous woman, the fire of that house is not to be kindled. Food which is delivered up from before a menstruous woman is not proper for the same woman. A tray cloth, Pavano the mock, which stands before her when it is not in contact with her, is not polluted. A table napkin, a tascor, when apart from her thigh and contact does not occur, is proper. When one wishes to consecrate the sacred cakes grown, when one holds up the sacred twigs that are sown, when the twigs stand that are sown gone, and menstruation occurs, and just as it came to one's knowledge, one puts down the sacred twigs and goes out, the sacred twigs are not polluted. And during her menstruation, 
She is to be so seated that from her body there are 15 steps of 3 feet to water, 15 steps to fire, 15 steps to the sacred twigs, and 3 steps to a righteous man. And her food is to be carried forth in iron or leaden vessels, and the person, Oman, who shall carry forth the food stands at 3 steps away from her. When worship is celebrated every time at the dedication, Shnu Maneh, consecration of sacred cakes, Dron Yast, it is to be uttered aloud by her, some say, the Itta and Hashem Bohu. And uh, we all know the risks of lead, right? Um, to draw a comparison with this and the biblical perspective and stuff, in Islam, a woman is not polluted by menstruation and childbirth, and nobody is to uh, be held to blame for what they have to do in regards to their physical ailments, you could say. Because um, I'm sure people, uh, e even though it's not the same thing as a disease, um, the menstruation, which is, uh, you know, well, there's the difference. There's candida and uh, what, what, what was that also called? Um, Leucorrhea. And, you know, other such conditions. Um, what has to be done, you know, calling it sinful, I don't, you know. Um,